What's going on guys? If you're new to the channel, my name is Rav and my channel just consists of a bunch of random videos that I just love doing. Um, at first, I was experimenting, trying to really narrow down a niche, but it became a little bit more difficult and it was a little bit more frustrating because it kind of boxed me in. And I love to do everything, so that's just exactly what what my channel has turned into. You can find a, a variety of different things from review videos to fashion videos to fitness to regular vlogs to yada yada yada. So I'm just gonna keep doing and keep posting things that I love doing because I love to share it with you guys and I love the feedback that I get from you guys. So I hope everyone, first of all, I hope everyone is doing, um, is hanging in there throughout this whole uh, pandemic and I hope everyone is doing well staying healthy I know it's a trying time you know health wise financially emotionally everything under the sun but I have faith that we'll all push through it um, as well as all the social issues that are going on since you guys clicked on it, I'm sure you're familiar with the brand Alphalete it's one of my favorite athletic brands athletic athleisure either way yeah, and if you're not familiar, um, I hope this is uh, I hope this is you know some some gear that you might want to get into. So what I'm gonna do, I'm familiar with their brand and articles of their clothing before. I've ordered many things from them, so so I hope I can give you guys some insight and just my opinion. I hope it helps on a couple of their items from this launch. I hope you guys are able to take something away from it and help you with your purchases if you're able to do so. Let's get right into it guys. Um, first we're going to go to the Alphalete website and we're going to hit shop men's and it's going to bring to this page. Now with this launch I wasn't able to get anything um, from this launch but I think I have a good grasp of um, the materials that they use in fashion uh, and things like that. So take it for what it is, but I think it may help you guys. So let's get right into it. First, they dropped, well they, yeah, they dropped or they released, I think seven different colorways of their board shorts. Of their, they call it the Titan board shorts. Now, if you guys see um, on the, I believe it's, which screen is it? This, this, all right. This, this side, it's on one of these sides. Uh, you'll see what I'm looking at so we can follow each other, but, seven different colorways Titan board shorts they're around they're about 55 bucks and I have to say out of the colorways here board shorts when you when you think of board shorts swim shorts whatever it is you think of it being along the water it's sunny out so bright colors instantly come to mind when I pick out my board shorts and my favorite ones out of the ones that you see right here have to be my number one, if I were to spend my money, it's gonna be on the South Beaches. It has that flamingo pink, the teal aqua blue. Those are the freshest shorts, colorway wise, that dropped. Um, you have the Daytonas, the game days, which are very Michigan-like. The Daytonas are like the Chicago Bull colorways. Radioactive, it, it's cool. I know they did a previous launch with all the neon greens and blacks, um, but, I'm not the biggest fan of them, and then we have the Patriot being from New England. Love the red, white, and blue, but if if I were to be able to only pick one, um, they have to be the South Beaches. Those are the freshest ones. I love the bright colors, and it, it just brings you to a good place. You know what I'm saying? So you have the Alphalete Shield, the competition branding on the right knee. The, the cut of the of the shorts, I love. It tapers, it looks like it tapers in. It, there's a split seam um, on the side of the each leg, which I like. They're above the knee shorts, which is great. And the back pocket with the flap, I mean, it's a great overall board short, you know, whether you use it for swimming or competition. I, well, okay, I didn't realize it was a video, but yeah, uh, they're, they're showing the stretch. I like them. Put the back pocket, tuck in the flap if you need to, grab grab something, put some oyster shells in there. Great short. And 
I wonder what you guys think. Which, which out of the board shorts is your favorite? Because I love the South Beaches. Those are my number one pick. If I'm gonna spend $55 on a pair of board shorts, those are gonna be the pair. And then you have the other three solid colorways, which are Pinnacle, which is white, Cayman Blue, as you guys can see, it's like kind of like the 3D can blue, and then the ultraviolet. Now, out of the solid colors for the board shorts, without a doubt, hands down, gotta go with the ultraviolet for me. I love, like I said, I love the bright colors, and I have a thing for like the faded, the faded colors, like the faded salmon, the faded teals, the faded violets, you know? And these shorts right here, I, I just, I don't know, there's something about them. I love the gray branding on the right knee again. It has the same design as um, the other shorts, just a different colorway, it's just a solid color. And I usually like, I don't know, these, these shorts just, they do it. These are the ones, if I were to get one, I feel like it makes the skin pop, especially when you get a good tan in. Uh, the only one that I would not get would be the whites because they're just gonna get dirty. Because chances are, you're getting board shorts to be active or whether you're in competition, you're getting tanning stuff all over you, most likely, and it's just gonna rub off on the shorts. So for me, I gotta go with the ultraviolet. I'm curious what you guys think, you know, if, if you feel the same way. But anyhow, let's move on to the, the next, um, the next uh, article of clothing here is the varsity shorts. Now, I'm a fan of sweat shorts, as you can tell, and as I get older, they have to be above the knees. I feel like if they're below the knees, it's just way too baggy looking. Um, and all my favorite shorts are above the knee shorts. And these look great. There actually is a all black pair, which I like. Those, I mean, you can't go wrong with black bottoms, whether they're pants, shorts, joggers, whatever it is. If anybody, yeah. So they have the navy, the sparrow, the all black, um, the stone gray, and I just, I'm not a big fan of the stripe along the side of the um, the sweat shorts, the, I'll call them. And the that seam that goes across the thigh, I don't know how I feel about those. Yeah, and this I usually like love light colors like the stone gray, but I don't know. I feel like that shield, that logo pops a little bit too much. If it was just the word branding, I feel like I would mess with it. But out of these shorts, I gotta go with the plain all black, as you can see here. And for forty-five bucks for some for sweat shorts, you know, let let's click into it because um. Oh, also, I didn't note that the band around the board short, the band around the board shorts, they're thick. They're they're very reminiscent of um, their thicker waistbands that they have on their other clothing, which is very comfortable. And so yeah, that's a, also a huge plus. But yeah, these back to the varsity shorts. This is the all black pair. It's a raw cut at the bottom. Um, I don't know if they're zipper pockets, but if they're zipper pockets, that's a huge plus. Oh, it has that, it has that, you know, that drawstring. But yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about about these. Maybe I just have to grow into them. But um, it would be nice if the back pocket had a zipper as well. I'm a huge fan of zipper pockets because you can't go wrong, especially making sure everything is secure in your pockets. I, I just love zipper pockets, but let's see if it does. Uh, 16 inches inseam, front pockets, back pockets. So it doesn't look like there are zipper pockets, which is kind of a downfall um, for the shorts being 45 bucks, but you know, it is what it is. I'm curious, what do you guys think about these sweatshorts? Do you like them, do you, do you not? Yeah. Anyhow, let's move on to the varsity joggers. So now they're almost, a, they're the same style as the shorts, but just pants, right? So colorway is pretty much the same as the shorts. We have the navy, the sparrow, the black, the stone gray, the blackout, and the mesa, and the black and red. Interesting. They didn't have the mesa in the shorts. Very close to the sparrow, but the sparrow already has its own colorway in the uh, joggers. 
So let's click into the navy pair. Now, obviously you guys can tell it's different than the joggers and pants that they've dropped before. They're a baggier, relaxed version of you know of what they've previously done so they're i feel like they're stepping out of the comfort zone and it's and just from watching christian's videos i know that when it comes to competition day you want to wear loose clothing bigger clothing don't want to get your tan off you know rubbed off and stuff like uh, chill pause <laughs> um yeah, you don't want to wear tighter clothing, so maybe because it's the competition series, that's taken into consideration. Um, it's a, it looks like it's a, it's very comfy. I would wear it throughout the house and you know and stuff like that. But wearing it out, I'm not. I like things to fit a little bit more tight, especially for my, like my pants, my shorts. Not so much the top. I like, I like it to be a little bit looser most of the time so so that way i'm not like restricted like mobility and just moving around wise but these pants they look super comfortable if you're chilling in the house all day or you know if you run errands they look like great joggers but just not not my style it has the double pockets in the back same two stripes running along the sides um as you guys can see there's a little bit more length on the jogger to provide that that comfort you know there's a lot more breathing room in these in these pants and these joggers but you know if i were to give this if i were to rate this one out of ten out of their stuff i'd probably give it a five you know a five out of ten or five one i don't want to give rookie scores but yeah it's like i said guys it's it's a great jogger but am i going to spend the 55 on these ones no so th those are the colorways i'm curious what you guys think let me know down in the comments now let's move on to the shirts the shirts i mess with a hundred percent i love these shirts the essential scoops okay a little bit wider at the neck show show off the collarbone and, and the, the neck muscles and a little bit of the shoulder you know the traps a little bit I love how they look. They have the, the, they call it the scallop cut or the baseball cut at the bottom. Let's go into the sea breeze. They're at 32 bucks. Um, they also have the branding on the side, just a little bit of, you know, some tasteful branding. Um, and if you look on the back of the shirt, it's the seam runs down to, as Christian has said before, it really accentuates, you know, some muscle back there and it aligns with your body because with clothes I'm super picky and especially with shirts like this it's a nice shirt to dress up and wear some nice jeans with you know and it keeps it casual but you still look great you know you don't look like a slob it, it kind of is a great perfect top to pair with a nice pair of pants and you know, it, it makes you look like, I, I, I'm still casual, but I care enough to look good still, even if I'm casual. I mean, look at that. Let's go to different colors. Okay, this anchor is like, it looks like it's a dark, like, metal gray. Um, yeah. I gotta say, let's go back to the main page. And... I gotta say, my favorite colors, they have the Storm Gray, the Shipwreck, which is like a green, like a dark forest green, uh, the Summer Sun, which is the yellow, and the Anchor, which, the Anchor, is, it's, it's weird, it's like, a, it's like a really dark grayish blue, and then the Storm Gray is just, you know, it's like a metal gray. I gotta say, with these, I would get all of them. If I were to rate my favorite ones, it's it's tough because when it comes to shirts, the fit is more important to me than the style of the shirt because it could be the most, the flashiest shirt, oops, the flashiest shirt, but if it doesn't fit great, then I don't know, it's it's like, then it's, it's pointless to me. All, because this shirt in every single color, you can give it crap brown, you could still rock it because the fit is there love the shirt would definitely would definitely get the shirt the shirts i would say if you were to get an essential scoop shirt get get it true to size um just like everything else we've seen so far
get everything true to size, it, it runs pretty good. Um, and if anything, after multiple wears, it may stretch out a little bit, but when you wash it, you know, follow the directions because most of the time to take care of your clothes, it's wash it cold and then it's hang dry. That way you can minimize the chances of your clothes shrinking. But if it shrinks, then I don't know, maybe it tightens you up a little bit and you know, your, your muscles show a little bit more. But, <laughs> but let's move on to um, the Premier Performance Tees. Now I do have some of their Performance Long Sleeves, so I, I know that they, they really do hug you a little bit. And I mean, you can't go wrong with the OVO colors, the white and the gold on white, you know, it's like that foil gold. It looks like it, it fits great. It's just, you know, it's a regular tee. It, it could be somewhat, I, I don't think it's a, like a dry fit material. Um, there, there probably is some more stretch, um, less cotton. Well, actually it's 94% cotton, six elast elastane. So yeah, like, it, like, like I mentioned before, they recommend washing the tee cold and then hang dry. I mean, no matter what, no matter what brand it is, that's how you're going to have to take care of your clothes in general. You know, it's, it's, it goes the same for any other brand um, based on those material specs, if that makes sense. And they have that in the white gold in the rich blue, not, not really like a dark, uh, I'm, I am a Navy fan, but I, I don't really like Royal blue that this, it, nah, it's not even close to a Royal blue, but it's, it's not my favorite type of blue. So if I were to choose either or of those shirts, I'm gonna go with the OVO colors all day. Gold on white, can't go wrong. And then you have, now you have the competition long sleeves. Now, again, the competition gear that came out with this launch, it's very, it's very comfortable fit. It's a comfort fit. It's, a, I, would, I wouldn't really say an oversized fit, but it's more of a classic fit where there's more comfort than there is tapers and things like that. So if we click into the gray one, they cost $34. They come in four different colorways. Looks like they have gray, black, white, and a darker gray, the Heather charcoal. So it's, it looks like it's screen printed on the back and the front might be screen printed too. I'm not sure if that's the uh, 3D laser or not, but as, as you can tell from the picture, very relaxed fit. The sleeves are a little bit longer. It's not tight at the cuffs, which is kind of a thing that I love is, you know, the cuffs on long sleeves are a little bit more snug. But I mean, I, I can't say that the, I mess with these long sleeves um, as much as I do uh, their other performance ones, but hey, if you like it, if you can justify the $34 for it, um, go for it, you know? But if I, if I were to choose between these, I mean, you can't go wrong with any of the colorways. And that's one of my favorite things about Alphalete is that, you know, they are, they take chances with a couple of the, a couple of their launches and their items, but for, I would say 90% of the time, all of their colors are very neutral um, and they go with everything. And those are color choices that I would, you know, that I would pick myself. They have the competition cutoff. I mean, it's a cutoff. It is what it is. And most of you guys, if you have cut your own t-shirts to, um, to create cuts, uh, you know, cut off sleeves. It, uh, the the length between the collar seam and uh, like the width of where it sits on your shoulders, it's always it's always weird. It's always different. You always have to try to find that comfy medium. So practice with your your you know shirts that you're going to throw out or get rid of and see how you like it and how far you create that that opening for the cutoff. And so there's just so many factors that, that go into making a great cutoff um, shirt yourself. But if you don't want to, it looks like all of these cutoffs are sold out. They're all the competition ones. Um, they are currently listed at $28 a piece. And you see the logo in the front. I don't think there's a taper at the bottom of this. It's hard to tell in the black. 
let's see in the video, there is, look, looks like there's a slight scallop cut, but no logo in the back, a very simple tank. Um, gray is a great color, this dude's jacked. If, if, you know, when you're working out, if you're doing a lot of cardio, gray, you know, it shows a lot. So I, I love black, but hey, all the colors, you literally can't go wrong with the cut sleeves, gray, black, and white. Now, this, it, it, we're getting we're getting to the point of of the website of the merch that I really like because this was like two two launches ago where a lot of my favorite things came out now if you've seen my other videos I love the identity joggers a thousand percent I swear by them they're stretchy they're comfortable they're soft and I mean they're worth the price I mean I think they're like sixty four dollars 64 bucks worth the price the brand you know the branding is subtle at some points they have the big branding on the back pocket but they're worth it so if we look at the shorts the identity shorts it looks like it has the same concept as the identity pants the identity joggers um, the zipper front pockets these sit a little bit a little bit shorter than the board shorts but I would definitely rock every single one of these colors Everything from the identity pants from the knees up are pretty much these shorts. The logo looks like it's a little bit different in the back, but yeah, you can't go wrong with these. It's hard to find, like if you're gonna be picky about clothes like, like I am, I'm more picky of pants and shorts than I am of tops, to be honest, because it's so hard to find. And I think Alphalete does a great job of that. So with these shorts, I mean, those are, the Trident Blues look very velvety-like, but I would literally, if I could, I would get all of these identity shorts, you know, black, the tan, the gray, I'd, I'd do the yellow. I probably wouldn't wear that Trident Blue though. Yeah, if I had the other four colors, I am, I'm golden, I'm good. So, my favorite, if I were to rank my favorite colorway in the identity shorts, it, it, black is a must. And then I'd probably go tan, gray, yellow, and then the trident blue. Okay, now the identity joggers. Get all of them. <laughs> and and I, I kid you guys not, because I have many pairs. Many, many, many pairs. <laughs> many, many, many pairs. Um, a ton of pairs of joggers, pants, sweatpants, different brands, Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, this, that, off brands, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all those brands. I have them all and nothing fits like the identity joggers. And I, I literally, I swear by them. And if I can get, get every single identity jogger, I would. Because look at the light grays. Fresh as, you know what, like, it looks like such like an icy, icy gray. I'm probably gonna get these, honestly. I, ha I, I have to. It, it's, look at, come on. You pair them with white pants and it doesn't get any better than that. I, I mean, wh what more can you say? The only ones I probably won't get are the black ones because I already have them. But as you know, after washing it multiple times, they do, they do fade. If you wear, it doesn't matter what brand it is, what material, if it's caught, well, if it's caught and most likely it's, it's, oh, it's gonna fade no matter what, no matter how, what precautions you take. But that light gray though, my favorite, this is the blackout one. I don't have the blackout, which is, um, as you can see, it's the branding underneath, uh, at the, the pant leg is white on the, on the pair that I have and on the back pocket is white as well, but the blackout is, you know, it's nice. It's very seamless throughout and it's very incognito. But the tan, I, I love the tan too. I, it, it's very, it's like a nude tan and I feel like it, it pairs well with, with any, any top, any color top that you put on that um, for the most part. And it's a, it's a great color. I, I love the colors, but damn. The light gray, such a good, such a good choice. They made such a good decision with that that color because you know there's so many grays out there, but this is such like an icy light gray. 
I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to put in my order after this video. <laughs> but man, it, and get it, it's true to size as well, guys. So the identity joggers, if you guys have ever, if you've never purchased a pair, they're gonna be your number one favorite jogger, hands down, I guarantee it. Better than any other brand. Um, their tights, I'm not gonna get into their training tights because I, I mean, I use, I, I have Nike tights and Under Armour tights and they do just just fine. I've also ordered Amazon tights um, and those ones are were shipped from overseas so size up on the Amazon ones and size up on the Nike ones as well. Under Armour it runs pretty true so I don't know how the Alphalete ones are but it's not something I'm in the market for right now. They also have slides. Eh, it's okay. Um, nothing special, just all black slides. Um, yeah, I mean it's cool that they're getting into that. But the hats, the hats are cool. I like, I like their the cursive um, embroidery on the front. Um, in terms of the colorway, you know that tan, that that faded sage, and black. Out of those three, I think that um, I'd I'd probably go with the tan and the sage to be honest over the black, and. Yeah, that's that's my favorite one so far. And then you have the all bold alphalete um, caps, the classic dad hats. You know, it's a it's a hat, guys. It it depends on what's what's more your steez. That the signature dad hats um, with the cursive lettering. That's it's very summertime like, um, and the bold is more for I feel like uh, all four seasons. And that's just how I feel. I I don't know. But these ones look pretty cool. The performance hats, um, the the branding is on the lower left. If you're wearing it of of the front, um, it's cool. It's it's a different look. But I gotta say, out of all these hats, my favorite is probably the um, the classic dad hat black, and then these two, the tan and the sage. I mean, for twenty eight bucks. It's pretty standard for a hat, and if you're in, into that look, that those are the perfect hats for you. So, all right. So, in conclusion, guys, um, board shorts are cool. Uh, not a big fan of the cutoff sweat shorts or the the competition long sleeve or the uh, competition uh, joggers. I don't know that that didn't really do it for me. If they're I feel like the, their other um, items that they've launched from before are just classics and I, I just, those are the ones I fell in love with and the fact that they launched some new stuff from it, some new colorways, those are the ones that I love the most. So if you guys can, take my word for the identity joggers and get you if you can get the black one so that way you can wear them um, uh, all the time and they'll match anything they're very versatile but the light gray they, they might get dirty but and they might get dirty fast but they are so clean looking and with grays I feel like you always have to size up because it makes it look smaller um, I feel like it fits a little bit tighter but anyways it's, it looks like it was a pretty good launch. I mean, I'm probably 50-50 on this launch. Um, I'm not gonna be picking up any board shorts, but the Identity Jogger shorts is a must, and the Identity Joggers is a must. I'm surprised they didn't have any hoodies. I know it's a summer launch, but uh, for those summer nights, I feel like you would want, you would still wanna launch a hoodie but I'm sure that's gonna be coming out in the fall. Overall, the launch, if I were to grade it, I'd probably give it like a, a B. Uh, just based on the styles and the things that came out, um, and I hope everyone's, if you're watching this doing summer shredding, I hope you're um, doing great, staying focused and, and all that stuff. And best of luck, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this launch and what are your thoughts on my opinions on the clothing that um, was in this launch as well. Did you do you agree with the competition? My thoughts on the competition uh, 
clothing that dropped like are you a fan of the sweatpants the competition sweatpants over the identity joggers let me know that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i it ended up being a little bit longer but i guess that's what happens when you get me talking about alphaly and clothes so i hope you guys enjoyed the video because i enjoyed making it for you guys and uh don't forget to subscribe and hit the hit the bell for notifications i'm gonna try to be more consistent with these videos and thank you guys to my existing subscribers for sticking with me in between the the duration of time between each video because it's been a while I'm, I'm trying to get these videos back up for you guys and for my new subscribers thank you and welcome uh to the channel I'm, I'm glad to have you guys here and we actually reached 200 subscribers um it's been fluctuating it goes up and down and up and down but yeah I feel like it, I've come such a long way and it's not a huge number in this day and age but it's something I'm proud of I'm proud of all 201 of you guys right now and i'm going to keep continuing to do that for you guys no matter how big or small the audience becomes or is and yeah i'm just going to try to i'm just going to keep it just be me and keep it honest with you guys so i hope you guys stay safe throughout quarantine i hope you guys um you know we're all going to push through it together and yeah all love guys peace